assault rifles, 20 boxes of grenades, and six handheld missile launchers. Let's see it. Not until I see the money. I got strict orders. That guy there is Skinny Lou. Me and him got a deal. I let him move his guns through here on my watch, and he throws a few hundred bucks my way every week. I figure, who's it gonna hurt, right? I mean, the government lets licensed dealers sell guns, right? So it's not like you can't get a gun anyway. They just make it illegal for unlicensed dealers to sell guns because they don't get to collect any taxes on those. And that pisses them off because they need the tax money to make their monthly payments to the aliens. Because if they don't, then kapow! The whole planet gets blown to smithereens. Oh, jeez. Here comes Lou. Get the hell out of here, Kevin. Use the back door. Hey, Lou. How's it going? Kevin had never been on a big boat before, and he was curious about what it would be like. He was also curious about what kind of things you could steal off a big boat. Attention, please. Attention. I'd like to call to order this emergency meeting of the Neighborhood Council. As you know, we've been circulating the petition to try and get the Spencer family. Uh, now, while I would like to thank everyone for signing it, I must also point out that my lawyer has advised me we can't have the Spencers kicked out of the neighborhood just because we don't like them. I don't want to come off like some knee-jerk elitist, but if we can't have them thrown out, then maybe it's time we just accepted the facts of the situation and hire someone to kill them. As much as we'd all like to kill them, I don't think we can. Stephen? Hi, everyone. I'm Stephen Dobbs, the Benson's attorney. Jane's right. You can't just kill them. That is against the law. Even if they're poor and stupid? And don't keep their yard up. Even though. Goddamn liberals. Now, everyone, let's not all start acting like a bunch of tradesmen. Let's hear Stephen out. <laughs> See you in a couple of months, loser. I knew the boy was too stupid to remember come and get me. Little bastard. Just wait till I get my hands on him. The whole stealing plan hadn't worked out as well as Kevin had hoped. Mostly because he'd found some booze and gotten so loaded that he passed out cold. In here, boys. Now let's hurry up and get them crates loaded onto the truck. Sure thing, boss. Kevin wasn't sure what was happening. He thought maybe his imaginary friend, Alan the Magic Goose, might be able to help, but he was wrong. Leave me alone, you psychotic little freak. I'm busy. Oh, sweet Jesus, please stop and give me a ride. Get my ass, you son of bitches. I don't reckon. Let's just hope Mr. Heston don't hear about this. That's all I got to say. Come on, let's go find us one of them. Or I into a Buffett houses. Big Daddy's got a hunger on. Jesus, 
Tate, what a day I'm having. That would close. Are you Anastasia Spencer? Yeah. Uh, you're being served. Served what? Papers. You're being sued. My husband's yeah. in jail. You want to come in for a drink, maybe? God, no. Then piss off. Bite me, you ditch pig. What you got there, sweetie? I'm being sued. What for? Looks like they figure we're lowering the property value. Because we don't keep the yard up and because cops is always here arresting Boise or the boy. That's a lot of lawsuit. Uh, what are you going to do? I'll bet it's those son of a bitch Bensons behind it. They've always had it in for me and Boise. They're jealous of our love and the way we sometimes express <laughs> it in the backyard after we've had a few. Ha! <laughs> ha! Ah, ah. Oh, sorry, Charlie. I know you don't like me talking about banging my husband in front of you. I'm still better, though, eh? Baby, you're one of the best I've had in years. I find that drinking helps me last longer. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotta be more to it than that. Otherwise, Boise last forever. Asshole Bensons. Well, they're, they're looking for a fight, and they damn well gonna get one. I got a feeling the unwelcome wagon's gonna be paying them a visit real soon. State your business, trespasser. I just got out of the joint. My asshole kid and fat wife forgot to pick me up so that I was walking home. Then this other son of a bitch in a car blew me off so that I busted out his back window. Then the bastard chased me in the woods, tried to shoot me. State your name and the reason for your incarceration. Percy Spencer, DWI, driving without a license, grand theft auto, resisting arrest, running a red light, improper lane change, and felicitation. You were involved in a high-speed chase. And you stopped to try and pick up a prostitute. Now nah, I offered one of the cops 30 bucks if she'd bang me in the back of the cruiser on the way back to the police station. That's how I got this scar. Ooh. Just a minute, Prisoner Spencer. You sound like our kind of people, Percy. You want to join our militia? Sure. Any of you guys got smoke? Over by the cake. Follow me. This here's Brad Palmer, Sergeant at Arms. Lucas Virts, Treasurer. Arnold Vittner, Communications. And last but not least, Derek Melcher, who takes care of the cooking and beverages. Oh, and me. I'm Hank Weatherman. I run this outfit. We're not gonna lie to you, Percy. Yeah. We ain't the government. You tell it, brother. Things could get out of control. Just like Big Brother, looking over your shoulder, man. Amen, brother. What the guys are trying to say is that no noble cause is achieved without risk. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. And if you ain't willing to drop your pants in a public washroom and take one for the Regiment of Doom, then you're not our kind of people. I, I, I mean, the government sucks. Oh, yeah. You did it. Right on. Right right on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right so what do you say, Percy? You got the stomach for it? <laughs> you guys have a keg at every meeting? Oh, yeah. Then you can count me in. Oh, yeah. Well, it's getting a bit late in the day to accomplish too much. I think it would make more sense to start fresh in the morning. I make a motion that we adjourn the meeting and go into town and get some whores. Is it heaven? Therefore, 
It is my opinion that the community would be best served by the implementation of a strict code of conduct that smashes the fist of assimilation right into the ignorant faces of those who defy what we define as right. <clears throat> I further suggest that those who don't adhere to the code forcibly exile to a community better suited to their poorness. No, wait, uh, uh I mean, ethnicity. <laughs> no, wait, I mean, aw, oh, hell, you know what I mean. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Now, on the rebuttal side, we have, uh, well, it would appear there's only one person who wishes to offer a rebuttal, Mrs. Spencer. This is a free country. So if you don't like the way my yacht looks, tough shit and kiss my fat ass. Cause it ain't changing, except that it'll probably get worse. Miss Spencer, I will not tolerate off-color language. Up yours, hypocrite. You don't seem to mind the doity talk so much when you're putting the blocks to me. Jesus, him too. I'm starting to think our love doesn't mean nothing. Well, we've heard from all sides. We'll make our decision soon. Meeting adjourned. the bear and get him back in the cage. Uh, Fox TV is shooting an episode of uh, When Animals Attack and they need him before the public beach closes. Mon dieu, that's some good bear attacking. Say, there's some talent. Maybe they'd like to be in my next movie. Keep it the crate down. Some of us are trying to sleep. Percy wasn't too happy about being woken up before noon. But he figured since he was up anyway, he might just as well see if he couldn't find some more booze to drink before the other guys got up and forced him to share. Right on time. Up and at him, boys. Good to see you, Hank. This here's our newest member, Percy Spencer. How's it going? I got everything you ordered except for the plastic explosives. But I got a rain check for them, though. Well, let's have a look. Open up the cases, boys. Hey, 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 I want a gun, too. I want a gun, too. Hang on a minute. Nobody move. That crate's smoking. I make a motion that the uh, new guy has to open it as part of his initiation. I'll second it! Hey boy, you got any smokes? It's okay, fellas. It's just my dumb boy. Pick a gun, kid. We're gonna overthrow the government. Kevin was pretty excited. He'd always wanted to overthrow the government in a violent coup so he could seize power of the country and rule with an iron fist. Hey, idiot boy, you got any smoke? to take that in your kingdom, boy. I think it's high time you learned that son of a bitch a thing or two. All right, troops, gather around. It's time we got down to business. First things first, let's pick us a target to blow up. Up yours, prick! Personally, I don't give a damn what you do. All I'm saying is, by the terms of the court order, you've got ten days to get rid of all this crap, or the city will appoint someone to do it for you and stick you with the bill. Be my guest, asshole! 
I just won't pay the bill. Then we'll come and arrest you. Jesus H. You can't arrest me. I got a son to raise. He needs me. Where's the boy at now? I don't know. I ain't seen him for a few days. Just clean up your damn lawn, lady. Then all of this will be over. I don't see how anyone's got the right to tell me what I can do with my own property. We don't make the laws. If you've got a problem with it, lady, take it up with the city. Yeah, take it up with the city. Maybe I will. Yeah, you do that. Don't you think I won't? We're cops, lady. We're not paid to think. Come on, Bill. Let's go threaten some prostitutes with arrests so they'll have sex with us. You didn't hear that. Stupid rookie. Now what? Now if they don't clean up their yard, they'll get a fine. But even if they do clean it up, they'll still be living there. It won't solve anything. Well, there's always plan B. We're listening. I represented a man a few years ago who... How can I put this? Who's an exterminator of sorts? You mean a hitman? Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't you breaking the law by suggesting we hire a hitman and by providing us the information so we can contact him? I'm a lawyer, pal. Your laws don't concern me. This man, does he have a name? Jane, we can't. They're poor, Arthur, and they have drinking problems. Is killing them really so wrong? Well, since you put it that way, no. I guess it isn't. Good. The guy you want to talk to is Hank. Hank Weatherman. I had to get me one of them cellular phones. I bet I missed a lot of important calls. Attention! Attention! Gather round, men. Providence is upon us, gentlemen. I've got the perfect plan that allows us to kill two birds with one stone and make $10,000 in the process. Money that we can funnel back into the cause for more weapons and kegs. Don't forget the whores! Oh yeah, and whores. Let's load up, boys. I'll fill you in on the way. bed, Charlie. Well, Fez in, and you gotta pretend to be Boise so we can cash his check uh. and get hammered. Hey, you remember where I left my bands? They's in the backyard. Right where we started. Now hurry to Christ up. I ain't had my morning liquor. So here's the deal. I got a client who wants me to whack this broad that's been ruining her neighborhood. Jeez. I didn't know you guys would hire killers, too. Is that a problem? No, I just didn't know it all. Hey, Lucas, you got any smokes? The boy's out. Don't you never buy none of your own? I just got out of the joint. I had to give all my smokes to my cellmate so he'd quit having his way with me sexually. Then I ran out of smoke, so I started doing it with him to get some back. Then he got paroled, so I started doing it with my new cellmate. Till I found out he didn't smoke. Both of you shut up. We're almost there. Here's the plan. My sources tell me the woman cashes her welfare check first thing every second Wednesday morning, and then she heads straight for the liquor store. Sounds like my kind of girl. So, are we going to take her out on the way to the liquor store? Nah, we're going to do one better. The government makes millions of dollars a year taxing liquor. I say we hit them in the pocketbook. We'll wait until this Anastasia Spencer lady is in the liquor store. Then we'll blow the whole damn building to kingdom come. Okay, guys. Get the handheld missile launchers ready and wait for my command. Arnold, when I give the signal, you slide the side door open to hit the ground and roll under the van for cover. Lucas and Percy, as soon as the doors open, count to five, let Arnold get clear, then blast away. One shot each. As soon as the shots are fired, get out from under the van and get in. 
I'll drive away. Yes, Percy? Liquor store don't open for another 20 minutes. I gotta take a leak. So does the boy. God damn it, can it wait? You don't know my boy. All right, but hurry the hell up. If you're not back, we're leaving you here. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I'm calling the cops and turning them sons of bitches in. Kevin was really surprised. He was also kind of happy. Leastwise, as close to happy as he could get, considering how screwed up his head was. Helping the police went against everything Percy believed in. So that could only mean that Percy really loved Kevin's mom after all, and didn't want to see her get hurt. Here they come, boys! I wonder what that's all about. Uh-oh. What? You been keeping time with my old lady, Plunt? No, the, we just bumped into each other. That, that's all. The, it ain't what it looks like. I'm keeping the booze, you prick. Hey, where'd you find the boy? In a crate full of guns. Hey, Percy! This ain't over! You're on my list! Kiss my ass, you son of a bitch. What the hell's that all about? Me and the boy are within their militia. They were gonna blow up the liquor store and kill you, so I turned them in. Oh, Jesus, Boise. You still love me! I suppose. Not half as much as I love having this liquor store so close to home. Crate of guns, eh? Damn it, he's stupid. Yeah, but he's always got smoke. <laughs>